so I'll go ahead and take the body measurement needed for this project. The first is the shoulder. Then the bust point. You place your tail from the shoulder to where your nipple is seated. Now the under boss point. The waist point. The round bust. The round under bust. You place the tape round your under bust. And make this measurement tight to get a perfect fitting. You take round waist. You also need your apex. This is known as nipples to nipple. So you place the tape from one nipple to the other end of the nipple. Drafting out the front pattern. So I'll go ahead and take my shoulder. Divide the shoulder by two. Your shoulder measurement by two. From that point, I'll take the slope one inch. And then I'll connect this to the neckline. I'll go ahead and take my armhole. 8 inches. I'll connect the slope to the armhole. I'll rule a horizontal line from there. I'll go ahead and take my boss point. This is 10.5 inches. Now I'll take my under boss point. This is 13.5 inches. I'll take my waist point plus one inch. So that is how long I want my corset to be, 16 inches. This is the bodyx. We are creating the bodyx first. So from the bodyx, we'll go ahead and create our cup. Now I'll mark the neckline. For me, the neckline is 7 inches. So I went ahead to divide my nipple to nipple, which is 8 inches. I divided it by 2 and I got 4 inches. I'll mark this on the neckline, on the boss points, on the under boss points and on the waistline. And then I'll rule a straight line. Now for my armhole, I'll find the middle point on the armhole. I'll mark that. And then I'll divide my round bust by 4. And I'll mark this on the armhole. This is where I'll be creating the curve. I'll go ahead and create the curve for the armhole. Now on the bust, I'll go up by 2 inches. So you can go up by 2 or 2.5. And then from that 2 inches, I'll take half inch. So I'll, I'll take the half inch on the bust line on the 
under bust line and then I'll rule a straight line. Now I'll mark one inch that on each side of the under bust line. I'll take one inch here and one inch, making it two inch on the under bust line. And then on the waist, I'll do the same. I'll take one inch on one side and one inch on the other side, making it two inches allowance. Sorry, two inches that I'll connect this with a straight line. Then I'll connect the one inch to the boss line using a curve. You can also use a ruler if you if you don't have a curve ruler, but then I'll be using my curve ruler. So on the neckline, I'll go ahead and take one inch that on each side, making it two inch, two inches, and then I'll connect this with a curve. Go ahead and use your straight ruler if you don't have a curve ruler. And then I'll come up by half an inch on the under boss point. And then on the other side, so I'll come up by half an inch. This is just to enable this cup go um, look round so it doesn't have a sharp end. So I'll connect it with the curve. If you know your free hand can give you a nice curve, you can go ahead and use it. But then if you have a curve ruler, better. Now I'll find the difference between my boss point and my under boss point. And as you can see, it is three inches. And then I'll go ahead and have, add half an inch to that. That's making it 3.5 inch. I'll place that on my boss line. So if yours is 4 inches, you add half an inch, that's 4.5. If it is 5 inches, you add half an inch, that's 5.5. So I'll connect this to the half an inch I came up by on the underboss line. I'll connect with the curve. And then I'll just use my free hand to connect this to the armhole. I'll go ahead and connect the neckline to the armhole using a curve. From the neckline, I'll connect it to the armhole using a curve. And then you can go ahead and adjust your curve now. This is the, the time you have now. After creating the curve, you just go ahead and adjust it to whatever you want. Now, I'll chalk my round measurement. I'll be marking my round measurements. At the, so, I'll go ahead and divide my round bust by 4 and chalk that down. my round under boss by four and mark that down and then i'll replace the two inch i took for that i'll go ahead and chalk the i'll mark the two inches i used for that i'll do the same for the waist i'll divide my round waist by four I'll mark that down and then I will replace the two inches for the darts. So make sure you replace your darts. I'll add 1.5 inch allowance to all points. Now I'll connect all points with a 
or connect all points together don't mind the shape the shape like is looking like this because of the darts we took on the underboss and the waist or go ahead and cut pattern out so this is the pattern for the front we are done we'll just go ahead and cut the part we need and um, watch how i'm going to cut this now i'll label out the patterns that's the center front the side and then i'll put a mark here for the back pattern i'll just go ahead and transfer the points on the fresh paper I'll take one inch for the zip allowance. I'll take my nipple to nipple. That's the apex, which is four inches. Now I'll take my dart half an inch on this side and half an inch on the other side, making it one inch on the waist. I'll connect this to the bust. So here I realized I made a mistake. I was just I was supposed to make put the half an inch on the waist and then connect. Then I'll mark my round busts and then the round under busts and then the round waist. I'll also make sure I replace my dart. So I'll place my tape on the dart on the under bust to find out what the, um how much allowance is there and then I'll replace that on the side I'll go ahead and take my round waist and then I'll replace the one inch that and then I'll add my sewing allowance Now I'll go on the zip line, I'll take half an inch, I'll come down by half an inch and then I'll connect from that side to the, um, the armhole, I'll connect with a slant. You can go ahead and go down by one inch or depending on how low you want the back to be. I'll 
I'll go ahead and cut out the pattern and you guys that is it when i'm sewing i'll fold in my back that so i'm not going to cut this out when i'm sewing